What's up, you guys? This is your girl, Alexa. I'm back again with another video. The topic today is we have too many preachers. Too many preachers out here. Too many. Now, I feel like they're in competition with each other. Who got the biggest church? Who got the most people sitting in their congregation? Who got the most money? Instead of focus on God's word and his people. He tell you who to help. But some of y'all preachers, you know what I'm going to say, all of them. All of y'all preachers have step it. Have step it. What I mean by that is, you go out here, sing gospel songs. Yes, I've been to one, so I know. You go out here, sing songs. You pray with these people. You give them the word of God. Then you give them food. Then you give them clothes. Then you go on with your life. Then the next three months, you do it all over again. It called feed the homeless. That's what it called. That's exactly what it called. Now, I know one preacher can't do it by himself or herself. But why not come together? Have y'all seen preachers come together? I'm not talking not to lure more people into their building. I'm talking about come together as in build programs. Build apartment complexes. Build houses. Build a business so people can work. Have y'all seen churches do that? No, I haven't seen none of them do that. Have you seen that they have a program where people can start billing their credit? If you know what society does to people, why we still have homeless people? Why we still have people begging? Why we have people dying of starvation, not eating? Why? But you take everybody's money every Sunday or every Saturday. And don't tell me you taking care of the church. You gotta uh, keep up the upkeep in the church and this and this. First of all, all them lights ain't burning seven days a week. All them lights ain't burning seven days a week. If it is, you get a discount from the light company, just like Walmart or other, any other big corporation. Uh, yeah. I don't like what's going on. Ain't got too many preachers out here. Yeah, you want to live in nice houses, nice cars, nice clothes. That's good. That's fine. But make sure you take care of God's people the right way. No half-step it. You're half-stepping it. Because when I read the Bible, God healed people and they was healed. Not one person had sickness in their body still after God healed them. So you telling me God would go up to these people and just give them food, just give them clothes? And they don't have nowhere to take a bath or they don't have nowhere to lay their head. I know one person can't do it, but they got so many preachers, so many church buildings. But you would rather add on, keep adding on, keep adding on to the parking lot. Why not help these people start earning money? Why not help these people have a roof over their head where they can afford rent? But you want to help people overseas this and do this and do that and send money this place, that place. But they still got homeless people. They still got people in need. And it's the people that's in your congregation. I'm tired of hearing, oh, we're going to pray for you. Oh, we're going to give you this good word today and hope you accept it today. Yes, God talked to people. He gave people the word. He also healed them too. So why not do the right thing? Why not do the right thing? 
I'm tired of seeing the same thing. I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing the same thing. We have too many preachers, too many churches, so much of money going into these churches, and y'all half-stepping it. You won't give somebody a meal every three months. Every three months. Do you eat every three months? Do you put on clean clothes every three months? Do you put gas in your car every three months? No. You do it every day. Why not treat these people the same way? Tell me, oh, if you accept God's word, God would do it for you. Hey, we know that already. But these people need help. Need really help. Don't give your money to shelters and Red Cross and all these other places. You do it. Y'all come together as preachers. Come together as preachers. Yeah, I got a video for all the other people too. And just y'all. But this video is for y'all right now. Because I've been there. I've been there. I was helping the homeless people. Feeding them. I felt so sad and disgusted with it because you know what? It's wrong. You pack up, you pack all your instruments up, and you go about your business. Then next three months, you come back and help them again. You get these people clean clothes and blankets and pillows just for them to stay on the street. Just for them to stay on the street. That's crazy. They got too many preachers out here. Y'all need to come together. Build a program, build apartment complex. All that money y'all be spending, you can do it. But y'all want to go against each other. Oh, he got a big church, let me get a big church. Oh, he got 5,000 people in his church, let me get 20,000. Foolish, God is watching y'all. I'm passionate about helping the homeless people, me. Because if I had the money, I'd do it the right way. Because I got another video about that. What I really seen in these shelters. Yeah, it's a true life story that happened to me. Mm hmm. God, see what y'all doing. I remember my mama used to tell me all the time, no, never put clean clothes on top of funk. That means dirty skin. For y'all don't know. Stankiness. And these people don't have a shower to uh take or uh, a bath to take or clean water or clean towels or nothing no soap or nothing but you want to get these people clothes and food and then next three months you do it all over again they have 365 days in a year 24 hours in a day seven days a week So you telling me, y'all going to continue on half-stepping it, continue on doing these things to people, and you want to say you you uh, called by God to help these people? You're a lie. Because God is not for himself. And y'all can't take all this with y'all. And I'm not, I, I know some y'all preachers, y'all are earning y'all money. But I'm telling about y'all need to come together. And truly help these people the right way. God's people the right way. Yeah, everybody need a word. Everybody need prayer. And stuff. But you really need to help these people. To lay their head somewhere. Not underneath the bridge. To go to work. Y'all can have programs for people to build their credit. Y'all know what society does. They throw these people away like they ain't nothing. And some of these people is veterans. People who fight in the army and, and stuff. But this is your girl, Alexis. Stay tuned for another video. Peace.